97.1. Sully, the other thing, too, you know, I know we haven't brought it up today. I just don't have a lot to say, and I just can't believe the quote. Did you see the Derek Norris quote? Out of Tiger Camp? Oh, re- yes, Regarding I his I suspension for domestic violence? Yes. What? 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 Yeah, not the smartest thing to say. Uh, no, it's it's. It was funny. I was just talking to a, a friend during the the commercial, and I I had said, "Look, it's just it's such a one sided issue. Like there is no other side." He said something dumb. It's not smart. It's a terrible look, and it's like it becomes a like a a two minute topic. Like I don't. What do I do? Solicit phone calls. There's no one who can agree with it. But like Derek Norris saying, "If it doesn't kill you, it makes you strong." Dude, that can't be your answer. That cannot be your answer. You're asked about a suspension for domestic violence. You mm. cannot use that. Now, again, I guess I am – I'm numb to, like, when athletes say dumb stuff. Like, I'm just numb to it. Like, you work in this business long enough or you're a fan long enough, you just see it so routinely, you're just like, I give up. But, no, I mean, it's a terrible look. I think it's a bad look for the Tigers. It's a bad look for him. And, I mean, ultimately – the question comes in of, okay, well, do you sign this guy? Do you keep this guy here? You get into an endless debate about, okay, does he deserve a second chance or not? I'll just tell you this, okay? If they if they do their background work, they think that's the right move, that's on them. You know, they believe, hey, it's an isolated thing. It won't happen again. I think that was the quote. I don't know if it was from Al Avila or Ron Gardenhire, whatever it was when I skimmed it. The point is, Derek Norris, when you're asked that question, you got one way to answer it correctly. You got to be contrite. You've got to connect with your your the people you're talking to it cannot be if it doesn't kill you it makes you strong it just can't be that cannot be the quote it cannot be the cliche cannot happen i i just you know again i i I mean like okay there you go there's 90 seconds i don't know where else i can take that i mean it's a guy who's going to be fighting to be the backup catcher with this team i'm not you want you want to let him go out of camp for the comment for the wrong choice of words, I'm fine with it. I'm not going to yell and scream. You believe the Tigers shouldn't have signed him outright? Okay, we can have that discussion, but let's also remember you have, player, you have a player on this team who had a domestic incident long ago, had his own problems long ago. So let's not be hypocrites now. So that one I'll leave alone. The common itself can't happen. It's an awful choice of words. But I really don't know where to go beyond that. It's, no, it's, it's literally what say. I just said to my buddy during the break. There's nothing else to say about it. I mean, you just can't say something like that. And I don't know if he's trying to be cliche or I'm not even trying to justify it. But it, it, I don't, you, I don't you care. Can't I don't care what he was trying to do. Cannot happen. Cannot say it. What you tried to do or wanted to do are null and void at that point. No, I hear you. I'm, I was just saying. Ticket text coming in. Don't you think NFL ratings and ESPN go hand in hand? The question, though, is chicken or the egg. Sports have reached the end of its price point, and sports in general have reached a saturation point. I agree completely. Absolutely agree with it. Football on Thursdays, don't need it. Football on Sunday night, don't need it. Football on Monday night, don't need it. I wish we could go all the way back and have all the games on Sunday. Call it a day. See, I guess that's where I'm different because I know I do other things on Sunday, Monday, Thursday. I need it because I can just sit down and actually just watch the game. I have to worry about anything else. But the matchups are usually so bad. I know they are, but it's football, and I can sit down and actually watch the game, and I have to watch it on a DVR. Football's the last thing I want to do on Sunday. Seems like a waste of time. Um, regarding teams' honesty about rebuilds, honesty's better than delusion. Find a rebuild, but price the tickets accordingly. That's from Marty. Uh, Mike, do you think anyone will go to Tiger Games next year? Steve, I mean, anyone, yeah, but no, their their attendance won't be good. People will go for the social experience. That's what's going to happen. I'm scared for you guys this summer. How will you fill the days with topics, especially June and July? Well, look, luckily for us, A, June is NBA Finals time, so we'll be all over that. You got the draft. I don't know. You just kind of, you bob and weave and you find things and you just go. 
I can't explain it. Like, you can't figure it out until you're there, and you just plan it and you do it. I mean, luckily for me, like, I'll miss a lot of August because I won't be here, so that's positive for me, I guess. <laughs> but other than that, it's like, no, you just you come up with a plan every day and you try to execute it. There's always news. I mean, I realize some stuff's obviously slow. There's s- slow times of the year, but there's always stuff, guys. Yeah, but see, like, you and I had this discussion yesterday. Like, everyone considers this the slow time of year, but I don't think it is. I think there's a lot of stuff going on. And outside of a 10-minute segment where we goofed around about, you know, someone judging me for wearing a hat, look, we, we, we've got a, a ton of things that we're rapping about, from the NFL ratings to Steve Kerr to Dan Dockage to what the hell, what the hell did we do? Well, I mean, I forgot all the things we've covered. Like, I don't think it's a slow time of year. I like this time of year, and I'll tell you why. Because it forces you as a sports fan, I shouldn't say forces, it gives you an opportunity to check out other stuff. Like, the fact that football's not here anymore, rest in peace, we, you can now carve out time and go, okay, well, I turn the page to college basketball where I begin to watch a lot more of it. Um, I like the fact that we get a little break from football. I do. I know that sounds crazy, but I love the NBA. I love college hoops. You got March Madness around the corner. Spring training is going to be here before you know it. I mean, what, next Friday, figures, I'm not here, and it'll be next Friday, we got a day game. Right. You're going to have Tiger baseball on the air next Friday. Now, again, I'm not overly pumped up about Tiger baseball, but I'll watch. I don't mind this. This is like the calm before the storm. March and April become draft talk, a lot of it, because the NFL has moved the draft to damn near May 1st. So, no, I, I don't know. Love some spring ball, some college football. Ooh, useless. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. All right, we are caught up on the ticket text. We will go straight to the phones next. Number of topics in the hopper. You ever need anything for your car? One place to get it: O'Reilly Auto Parts.